In the middle of the night, everything will be all right if you listen to Coast to Coast right here on WRMN seven days a week from midnight to 5 a.m. Each night on Coast to Coast, listeners are captivated by George Newry with discussions on news and current events, conspiracy theories, UFOs, life after death, and all things curious and unexplained. Whether you're working third shift or you're just a night owl, catch the most listened to overnight talk radio program in North America, Coast to Coast, every night, midnight to 5 a.m. right here on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM. The word is out. Nissans cost less on Route 19, but that's not all. Parts, service, and body shop, they all cost less at McGrath Nissan. Used cars, too. The reason why is how hard we try. Right now, get 0% APR financing on select new Nissan models at McGrath Nissan because Nissans cost less on Route 19. Come to Elgin. See what we need. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410. The NFL Draft is on the horizon. The Bears have the top overall pick. GM Ryan Pohl said that USC's Caleb Williams will be the selection. To make room, they traded Justin Fields to the Steelers, where he'll reportedly have a chance to compete for the number one spot. Pohl said on Monday. Probably one of the harder things I had to do. I was kind of touching the empathy part. You know, like having that conversation with my own son was hard. Uh, his jersey's up in his room. You know, puts that into uh, perspective of how difficult those uh, moves are. Um, he was positive. His tone was good. You know, I think what was important for Fus and I is to really express to him, although this is a really tough decision, like how much he means to the city of Chicago, our fan base. NBA last night, the Wizards beat the Bulls 107 to 105. DeMar DeRozan led Chicago with 27 points. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. Taco Bell just dropped the new Cravings value menu. Now you can get 10 items for $3 or less, which means you can get the food you want for the price you want. It's almost like you can have your cake and eat it too. But in this case, it's a double stack taco from the new Cravings value menu. So basically, you can have your double stack taco and eat it too, which is a lot crunchier than cake. The new Cravings value menu is here. Get it at Taco Bell today. At participating U.S. Taco Bell locations while supplies last. Contact store for price and participation, which vary. Tax extra. And now Martha Stewart for Skechers. When I make a dish or embark on a craft project, I always use the finest, most fabulous ingredients and materials. Which is why, when it comes to footwear, I love Skechers. Because Skechers is the comfort technology company and uses the most luxurious, innovative materials and designs to make wondrously comfortable footwear with all the fits and features like Arch Fit and Skechers' world-famous air-cooled memory foam. It's exactly... Click this link now to review my bank transfer. I didn't make a bank transfer. Ugh, another phishing message. Are you frustrated by these two? So much of our lives are online today. To make sure my information is protected, I checked out CISA's Secure Our World resources. They've got four simple ways we can stay safe online. First, learn to recognize and report phishing. Next, create a strong, unique password for each online account and use a password manager if you can. Then turn on multi-factor authentication for extra security and you'll receive a code when logging in. And finally, turn on automatic software updates for convenience and safety. Click here to track my delivery. Another phishing message. But now I know how to protect myself from scammers and you can learn too. Go to CISA at cisa.gov forward slash secure our world for more quick, easy tips to be safer online. So lunch with WRMN. My name is Dennis Sonar Green. I will be driving the ship for the next two hours. Hopefully we avoid as many bridges as we can. Oh, sorry. Is it too soon? Is it too soon? Um, probably not. Um, Maydays happen. Things happen over there. Don't fret. Don't frown. This isn't a mayday. You haven't lost Marky B, Marky B is on vacation. Um, he hasn't done the morning show because you know he's on vacation. He's out in the middle of the woods, 
come on, we're we can do a lot here with the new WRMN system, but my goodness, we cannot just beam people in from the woods, but we can beam people from the other side of the state. And of course, that person I'm referring to is the best and brightest executive producer in all of talk radio land. That would be Ben Demonium Boquest. Thank you, sir, for being here with me. Hey, a pleasure, pleasure to be on. Thanks so much again uh, for having me on the lunch program. It's a, uh, it, it's bright in my, uh, my place right now. So uh, <laughs> glad to be joining uh, via the comfort of my very own home. It's a, it's a great part of the job. Thanks for allowing me to do it. Um, and yeah, you, you brought up Marky's on vacation. I uh, hope he's having a good time, taking some time off and just chilling. Yeah, uh, I hope so. You know, human God, right. Too much. Hang out. The guy, the guys, the guy works too much. We want to make sure that that he can rest his voice. Um, so he will be back on Monday. You will get your first shift in all of its glory, all of its regularness, um, and it's regularly at six to nine right here on WRMN fourteen ten, the voice of the valley, the talk of the town, and the home of radio shopping. Oh, you radio shopping, you say? Well, take an extra twenty five percent off. Uh, Markdown right there in my page. If you can look at the camera on the uh, YouTube live side of it, 25% off, take an additional 25% off of already marked down stuff. So a like a $60 pair to the Grateful Dead experience at the Egyptian Theater in DeKalb. Just $20. Pair of tickets, $60 pair, or... George Michael Reborn at the Rao Center for the Arts in Crystal Lake. That's a $90 value. You get it for $40. Um, if you want to buy something for radio shopping, you can always call the studio or you can call the Redemption Center at 847-741-7700. If you want to call the studio, you don't have to just call for radio shopping. Ben and I have some great discussions that we're going to have today. One of the things I want to talk about is uh, Miss McDaniel. Um, there is a lot of buzz and it is a media story as well. So if you want to jump into that, remember studio 14 is eight, four, seven, nine, three, one, 14, 10 to jump into the conversation about that in other news or do any kind of radio shopping. Again, it's eight, four, seven, nine, three, one, 14, 10, Mr. Boquist, Ronna McDaniel, um, we all talk about how um, how on the air, most of the time, a show host has a lot of control um, with what's going on. Of course, they're the ones that talk out of their own mouths, but then they also have producers that kind of put together. Did you see any of the hubbub from MSNBC about this hiring of the former RNC chair? Oh, of course. Yeah, it's been everywhere, kind of, uh, you know, how the news just reports on what the news is doing these days, mm -hmm. mostly. And there's so many shows and podcasts and like like us right here talking about it. But uh, just, yeah, it, it's been kind of uh, the talk of the town, of the media town, I guess. <laughs> um, the, the whole Ronna McDaniel uh, thing. And uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, it's uh, par for the course for, um, you know, establishment media uh, to, to just kind of uh, go for those those big name people, no matter uh, who they are, what they did, Tucker Carlson or, uh, you know, uh, Alex Jones uh, yeah, for a time uh, was kind of the guy um, mm -hmm. for people. Man, I look horrible on video. I'm so bright. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, though. We're getting best. If you're listening on the radio, just imagine that uh, I am super attractive, though. Uh, either way, um, yeah, it's not surprising that uh, that this is uh, that that's who they hired, and that there was a blowback of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, good for the people who uh, were like, you know what, really, like you're, you're going to do this, uh, make this kind of a move without my, um, uh, I mean, without my even considering me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. So they I, had I hired. They had hired Rona because, or Rana, I guess, is, is the way that she pronounces it. So they've hired Miss McDaniel because, oh my goodness, earthquake over at the Boquist house. Um, so they hired her 
to be a contributor. She was obviously ousted out of the RNC because Trump had had hired her back in 17. And now Trump had pushed for Laura Trump. Uh, his, I believe, daughter-in-law is now running the RNC right now. And um, just to kind of put that away and throw another fact in there, the RNC has pledged to pay Donald Trump's super PAC first before the RNC gets any money. So if you donate to the RNC, you are going to fill up Donald Trump's super PAC first, and then your money goes to the rest of the RNC. I always recommend do not uh, donate to the party, donate to the candidate. Donate to the candidate that you like. Every single candidate has their own GoFundMe or something along those lines. They more than likely have their own super PAC. Don't donate to the party. The party is just going to Mitch McConnell spread it all around to everywhere. Um, and now it won't just be spread out everywhere. It will be spread out to Donald Trump first, and then it will be spread out everywhere. So if you really like a candidate, go ahead and donate to them. Katie Porter does the exact same thing. Um, who was the who's the other guy? Dick Dick Durbin doesn't do that. He's he still takes um, uh, money from it. But there was a um, there was a, a a challenger for Biden that was um, uh, who was the uh, the gentleman that was, that was running? Phillips. Yeah, Dean Phillips also uh, was a micro donation. Uh, candidate, so so you can do it. You can uh, uh, buck the establishment with micro donations, but let I always watch Meet the Press anyway. It's one of my staples for just my my political diet to begin with. Um, there are some other things that I, I recommend for it, but um, but definitely Meet the Press. Uh, Chuck Todd get a, did a fantastic job with it when he was around. I know he gets a lot of flack for being both sides as it goes. Um, Kristen Welker has taken over, um, and she's been doing a phenomenal job. I mean, she's still... You can definitely tell she's still green. You can definitely tell she's still a little skittish for taking over the job. But I think that confidence is going to uh, turn around. Because, I mean, I think Chuck Todd took it from Barbara Walters. So um, you, 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 there's a long line of people. Uh, it's the longest running television show in history, by the way. Meet the press. Um, mm -hmm. Now, if you want cartoons, Simpsons is the longest cartoon uh, running in history. But um, but Meet the Press. So what they did was Meet the Press has been trying to get uh, McDaniel on for years. I mean, ever since she w became the RNC chair in 17, they've been trying to get her on. She's never she's never gone on. So finally, she agrees to go on um, with uh, with Christian Welker. Nobody knew that she was in negotiations with NBC. So they, they're like, finally, we get her, we get her in here, we finally get to um, uh, we finally get to interview her, we finally get her to poke questions and, and figure out where she actually stands for things. And then the news dropped like Friday that MSNBC uh, essentially hired her. So then on Sunday, when Christian Welker has to interview her now, She's no longer interviewing her as a, as just the R, the former RNC chairperson. She's now interviewing her in addition to now being essentially a colleague. So she can't really, she can't really. Uh, uh, she, I guess, she really has to pull her punches. She has to make sure that that everything goes on. So she does the interview, and then immediately afterwards, in the same vein, the producers decided that you know what, we are going to do an entire segment anti Ron McDaniel. They had Chuck Todd and then like two other um, contributors, and Chuck Todd was just like Christian. I, I'm I'm sorry you had to do that. And he laid it out and said, because we've been trying so long to get her on here to talk about her phone call with Trump, where she was on the phone with, with uh, uh, Trump and the election, uh, uh, I guess the, 
the people that were supposed to certify the election or the um, also the uh, locals that were trying to certify the election. I think it was a Georgia call. And the whole time she's like, oh, well, we'll pay for your lawyers, vote your confidence or vote what you think is right. You know what's right. Kind of kind of playing the um, would a nice place you have here would be bad if you had a fire type of type of stuff. Um, it'd be bad if something something bad happened to your thing here. You Typical. know, you know, Typical it'd be, for that side, lately. it'd be bad. So. So essentially, um, she tried to push her on it, and Chuck Todd put this out of, was this interview the Ronna McDaniel of the former RNC, or was this the Ronna McDaniel who was answering these questions because she wanted to keep her job at the network? So that was the best way to kind of sum this thing up. Now, of course, Joe Scarborough and Rachel Maddow and and a couple other people were just upset about it. But Chuck kind of laid it out in that way of of who is this person that we are now getting because. Did they hire her so that they could get two more Republicans so that they can start bringing more Republicans over? Did they hire her so that we can actually see the inside of the RNC? But he said the credibility isn't there anymore because she only came on after she was hired. And now a lot of the things she said when she wasn't hired by uh, NBC are now changed. She now says January 6th is unacceptable. She now says that, oh, well, we didn't really try to push for the fake electors as they go. So she's kind of changed her story. But the real thing that I want to ask you, Ben, now that I've set the stage, is how powerful were the on-air hosts to change what the network wanted to be? Now, nobody said, nobody said we're going to walk. Nobody said that. The only thing they said is we're disappointed and we won't have her as a contributor on our shows. How do you think that 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 backlash of the actual hosts um, really played into this? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, uh, I I think, um, a a bit of a microcosm of uh, the power of labor uh, and also... Mm -hmm. Uh, exactly what both the network executives wanted to happen and um, what uh, it was kind of like a t-ball for the hosts to to say oh you know well here's how we can play this Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think uh, overall um, yeah uh, that um, it it played out you know it's it's annoying (laughs) I think everybody deals with it um, where it's like uh, you know the this was set up to be, uh, you know, the, the pay-per-view event. Uh, everyone's got to tune in to see the Ron McDaniel mm-hmm. showdown on MSNBC. Now, finally, a reason to watch uh, uh, Meet the Press again, <laughs> which, which is, it's a great show to, to check in on every now and again. Uh, Longest-running show in media. It's not for nothing. Um, great source, great show. Check it out. And you know, if there's something like this, then more people are going to watch it. So that's oh, so exactly you're what happened. The nation are talking person. about it. Now. That's what it is. Is you're not a meet the I, press. Yeah. You're you're oh, a yeah. face the nation no, person, you know, aren't you? I'm, I'm a non-brand uh, I like Brennan. non-brand um, news, and also I like just the the personality is the hosts. It's what it's all about to me. If if the, any show has a good, um, honest show host, mm-hmm. then I'll watch that show. To be honest, like. I mean, it might be more for entertainment. I'm not going to, uh, you know, agree with everything they say or believe everything. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, either way, I think it was a it was a pretty cool uh, example of this uh, situation of kind of, you know, um, the um, the hosts of the the show were put in a position that they weren't too happy with, uh, at least like working with somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, it would have been maybe a little nicer just to see like just to go with the flow a little bit and you know maybe not just completely demonize someone for uh you know just being uh a a political figure Mm -hmm. uh which it it at this point 
I think you you got to you, you have to be willing to give these trumpers a little bit of grace because of the the time and the situations that we're dealing with right now the confusion mostly mm-hmm. that people have uh, it would have been nice if they came at it at, at like oh w- welcome to the club uh, hopefully you're done with the crazy talk yeah like because w- we know what you're talking about craziness before <laughs> so I think that's what they would have been cool. Uh, is now that now that it's not her you, job anymore to be a sycophant. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, you can't be the chair of the RNC and then also turn around and say, "Yeah, you know what? The candidate you guys voted for, I don't like so much." No, you have <laughs> you have to be the largest cheerleader, <laughs> and that's kind of what she said. I mean, she said, "As the chair of the RNC, what did she say?" Uh, when you are. Uh, the RNC chair, you kind of take one for the whole team. Right now, I get to be a little bit more myself. So, okay, so this is obviously a great way to ex- example like a soft union, especially an incredibly loud soft union. Um, but did they give her a chance to do it? Should they have given her a chance? That's that's the thing is they turned around and said, nope, no chance. I'm not even going to, because of all the things that she said in the past, we will not yeah. give her a future. Was it right of them I mean, to, to do that? To me personally, it's like a well, big uh, surprise. The <laughs> yeah. establishment, like someone, <laughs> establishment yeah. corporate media, big league someone, no way. <laughs> like, you know how many emails I've sent trying to get jobs with these places <laughs> over the uh, 15 years I've been in media? Or, uh, yeah, I'm rounding up there. But, yeah, it's it's not surprising that, um, that this is uh, how it played out. But, yeah, I think they should have given her a little bit more of a chance. Again, uh, a little bit of grace. Um, goes a long way. Yep. Let us know what you think. Call Studio 14 847 847-931-1410. 847-931-1410. I've got some bad news for you. Dollar Tree is still not dollars anymore and may even go up to seven. My goodness, some products seven dollars at the Dollar Tree. Are you gonna start calling it the seven dollar tree? Let me know what you think. Studio 14 847 931 1410. You can save some dollars of the radio shopping as well. WRMN 1410. Make up those prices that the Dollar Tree should have given you. We'll be right back after this. For a little lighthearted lawlessness on Sunday afternoons, listen to Handle on the Law from 4 to 7 p.m. Handle on the Law is a unique combination of useful legal advice and outrageous handle remarks. Whether you're talking about Big Brother, Big Business, Big Legal Problems, or Big Macs, you'll rarely find Bill without an opinion. His rapid-fire commentary gives listeners the information they crave in the way they crave it. It's Handle on the Law, Sunday afternoons from 4 to 7 p.m. Right here on WRMN, AM 1410, and 96.7 FM. Batteries plus bulbs is more than batteries and bulbs. It's your repair shop for Apple devices, Samsung Galaxy devices, and more. Located on Randall Road, just south of 20 in Elgin, Batteries Plus Bulbs fills all your battery and light bulb needs in one stop. They have the largest selection of batteries for ATVs, cameras, phones, laptops, scooters, cars and homes, and everything else. Looking to save money with energy-efficient LED or holiday lighting? Stop in at Batteries Plus Bulbs in Elgin. Go to BatteriesPlus.com for special offers. If you are 50 years and older, you are welcome to join Elgin State Bank sponsored movie days at Elgin Marcus Theater. It will always be on the second Thursday of each month. Doors open at 8.30 a.m. At 9 a.m., you will hear a very brief message from Sherry Ashenbrenner about upcoming senior events. And movies will begin at approximately 9.30 a.m. Coffee and a donut is complimentary. You can always call the movie theater hotline number of 847 888 7976 to find out what movies are playing each month. The cost is $3 if you are a member of Elgin State Bank, meaning you have an account there, and $5 if you are a non-member. And for more senior information, catch Sherry's Senior Showcase on the third Tuesday of every month at 9.15 a.m. right here on WRMN, AM 1410 and 96.7 FM. 
A recent Gallup poll indicated that 38% of Americans are putting off health care because of financial concerns, the highest ever recorded. I'm Dr. Bob Martin, here to serve you every Sunday afternoon from 1 to 4. Millions of Americans are seeking health advice that will not cost an arm and a leg, so I offer health tips and advice absolutely free. Listen to my show, Sunday afternoons from 1 to 4, right here on WRMN, AM 1410 and 96.7 FM, the voice of the valley and the home of Radio Shopping Show. America's Best Restaurants travels the country and features restaurants that you should visit each week. Recently, the cast and crew made their way to Renata's German Restaurant in Hanover Park. Renata serves old family recipes and delicious German-influenced food. Renata's also specializes in a wide variety of traditional German baked goods, too. So, if you've yet to visit Renata's, try America's Best Restaurants choice. Drop in soon for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Visit renatasgermanrestaurant.com. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. No matter the time of the day, WRMN 1410 AM is your platform to voice your views, share your stories, and connect with the Valley like never before. We're more than just radio. We're a community conversation that's always live, always local, and always looking for your input. Want to chime in on the drive time deal with Matt McNeil? Got a hot tip for first shift with Marky B? Or maybe you've got a question for one-on-one with Leah. Now's the time to make your voice heard by calling Studio 14 at 847-931-14. That's 847-931-1410. You can join in the dialogue from wherever you are by commenting on our YouTube live streams at WRMN Radio. Hit the subscribe button to get notified when we go live and bring your comments to the table. It's easy, it's fun, and hey, it's what neighbors do. We talk, we listen, we engage. You're not just the audience, you're part of the show. Call in, comment, and let's make radio interactive. WRMN 1410 AM, where your words are part of our wavelength. Welcome back to WRMN, the voice of the valley, the talk of the town, the home of radio shopping. If you want to jump into the studio, uh, right here at Studio 1414 Douglas, 847-931-1410. Again, that's 847-931-1410. WRMN 1410 also has the Redemption Center open right now. Right now, the Redemption Center. Right now, right now, right now. Get some deals. 12 to 3. We've got the Redemption Center open. Uh, Matt McNeil is over there running the Redemption Center. He'll be able to take your orders uh, both in person and over the phone. Redemption Center number is 847-741-7700. So all the deals that I'm talking about, all the on-air deals that you've got, If you don't want to give me a call in the studio, you can call him there, 847-741-7700. He'll also take your orders live in person at 16 Douglas, and he will print it out right there, right in front of you, hot off the presses, the deals, the deals, the deals. Take an additional 25% off the markdowns already today that's the special for today that's the daily deal where can i find the daily deal mr dennis sonar green well you can find that daily deal wrmn1410.com it's right there at the top in fact you know what let me go ahead and show you my screen when i show you my screen you will see Where the daily deals are, right here, we've got a bunch of deals. You can see everything that's happening at the Wisconsin Dells that's uh, on our website here. But right there, smack dab in the middle, daily deals and new businesses. You'll see that daily deal as it goes through. It is International Theater Day, so we've got 25% off uh, with International Deal Day uh, or International Theater Day. Uh, we've got the Egyptian theater. We've got the Rouse center for arts. We've got the children's theater in Elgin, James and the giant peach. Did you know that that is one of my son's favorite movies, James and the giant peach. It's out there. You can go see it at the children's theater of Elgin. I've got a pair of tickets. Take two of them babies out there to the James and the giant peach, just 16 Dollars. That's eight dollars a kid on a thirty-two dollar pair. 
you can give me a call at Studio 14, 847 or again, the Redemption Center at 16 Douglas. That number is 847-741-7700. On the show with me today is the amazing, intelligent, and very skilled uh, executive producer of the world, and that would be Ben Demonium Boquest, who's now uh, changed his camera. I don't want to necessarily say fixed, but it's changed. It's different. It's new. Um, how are you been today, sir? Ever ever evolving the the camera angle. It's just like <laughs> I can't remember which way it's the best zoom wise and everything. No, you're but, fine. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I digress. I'm doing great today, man. Doing a, a bunch of podcast uh, recording, editing, and uh, you know, just production, production, production. Love it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There um, it is. Uh, hit us up for uh, for your podcasting needs. Uh, we'll help you with your RSS feed, um, and uh, really anything you need. Uh, help with promotion. Uh, if you have great uh, media people, social media people. And uh, really anything in the industry, you want this professional sounding audio and uh, video <laughs> and uh, production, uh, hit us up. Absolutely. Uh, um, and, WRMN yeah. and the Multi Format Network both do a fantastic job um, producing the things that you hear, you watch, you see, you touch, you interact with. Um, we've got um, Mike Patty, who's joining the team as well. And Mike does a phenomenal job with digital assets. So if you're looking at somebody who needs uh, uh, somebody to help you with your website, if you're looking for somebody to kind of help automate some of your reoccurring emails that come through, if you're looking at uh, running the social media side of it, that's a lot of what we do here. You can reach out to Ben at uh, Ben Boquest at multiformat.net. You can also reach out to me, S O N A R, at multiformat.net, M U L T I F O M A R T dot N E T. But to continue with the news, Benjamin, the news, the news, we keep hearing about these student debt people that want to get rid of this student debt. What do you picture? as the stereotypical student that has this student debt what is what is at least the media kind of pictured this this uh this slacker this person that just cannot seem to get under or or get away from this debt okay yeah um yeah that is definitely a way that uh, certain people frame it um uh, mostly uh, the right leaning, uh, or uh, a lot of these um, uh, what they call neoliberals, mm -hmm. um, which are very uh, conservative people. Usually, um, they uh, they look at it as kind of like a oh, uh, you know, you weren't able to pull yourself up by your bootstraps or mm -hmm. this, uh, you know. But it's the avocado thing. toast, um, it, it, anthropology it, it, degree yeah, well, at Starbucks. Like you know what I mean? Like that's. That's where they're always painting this, right? Absolutely, yeah. That it's um, you know, the 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 choices that uh, this generation make are somehow more vain or um, less uh, uh, deserved uh, mm -hmm. than the other generations have gotten just as a basis. Yeah, how dare um, you not pay uh, for your college for your summer job? You, you're telling me that you didn't yeah, lifeguard you for, for three months and that's how you got your bachelor degree? Mm, yeah, you want to have one job, eat and pay rent? Like, come on, mm. get get a more more jobs in there. No, you got a <laughs> job, kind of you got a job and, for and rent comes and from you got the, a job for food. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's the, the hyper hyperization of the, the haves and the haves not kind of mentality where like it has to be there has to be a winner and a loser and the loser you know is uh, uh deserves you know to nothing kind of thing <laughs> yeah. and it's just a uh, everyone understands the um the the nature of uh providing for yourself and your family and uh there's no reason why uh it should be like linked with someone else's failure and mm -hmm. there's just too much of that and that's what i think leads to this um uh, uh, framing that somehow uh, people who are in student debt because of the ridiculous prices of college 
mm -hmm. um, are, you know, uh, lazy uh, on the whole or not worth, um, you know, uh, the, the simplicity of uh, having gained an education and maybe uh, gotten uh, a, a job good enough to pay for all their bills and also uh, pay off that educational debt. Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah, you never it, think it's about the uh, what I generation. personally think of the people with student loan debt is they're they're pretty much like a lot like me, um, except I didn't go to um, uh, college because of uh, just thinking about accruing all that student loan debt. And, you know, in hindsight, I, I probably should have just gone to college. But. Yeah, especially if they're just going to forgive <laughs> um, the debt yeah. anyway. So um, so you never oh, think yeah. about I mean, this retired retired people that also had to take out debt. I mean, you think about all the people that maybe in like the 80s or 90s had to take out debt to elevate their career to the next level where they turned around and said, well, anybody who's an office manager now needs at least an associate's degree in business management or everybody needs a master's now. Otherwise, you can't be a paralegal for this thing over here. So they had to go up. But a retired grandmother still owes $108,000 in student debt 40 years after taking the loan. Uh, 43 million Americans dealing with the debt. So this is a story from WGN. In 1986, Nancy Peter uh, took out a student loan to finish her psychology degree at Mundelein College in Chicago. Uh, almost four decades later, she's still paying it back. The interest compounds and compounds, so every penny I don't pay, it goes sky high. So that's what they've talked about, too, is they've got this to the point where they have to pay regardless of what's going on. And if you can't pay, um, they're going to, to penalize you for it heavily. The other thing is, is what if you can't pay because you're technically bankrupt? you can't get rid of this debt either. So Peter took out another loan to graduate school at Loyola University and has worked as a therapist for nearly 40 years. But now the 71-year-old retired grandmother of two owes six figures, more than triple the initial amount of the money she borrowed. She said she owes about $108,000 and enrolled in an income-driven repayment plan. These plans allow borrowers to pay what they can based on how much money they make. Sometimes the payments are so low they don't even cover the interest, meaning the money owe is increasing even as borrowers are making payments. Peter went into forbearance on the loan. Uh, at one point because of health issues. She had permission to temporarily pause payments, but the interest kept building. That happens all the time. It is really important for borrowers to understand that when you take out loans, pretty much any type of private loan or federal student loan, interest usually starts to occur immediately said Ray Kaplan, a Chicago-based student loan attorney working to help borrowers to ease debt. So as soon as the loan is uh, dispersed, it starts occurring interest. Like even at the room place, I only get, uh, like I get 18 months of, of leeway for it. We've got a caller. Hello, caller. Welcome to the conversation. Do you have student debt? Hi, right, this is Tradio. Uh, uh, not right now. We don't have Tradio, but I can probably put you into it if you'd like. Give me just a moment and let me find my Tradio uh, well, side when, of it. When is Tradio on? What time? Tradio is usually on with Matt McNeil um, from 3 to 6, uh, Monday through Friday. He can help you out there or... If you call the Redemption Center, he's over there on that side right now, and he can just add you right to that Tradio page um, right now. Do you need that number, sir? Yeah, please. It'd be 847 741. Hang on. Oh, oh that's okay. I'll oh, take. Seven, okay. Yep. So 847 741. 741. 7700. 
And the Redemption Center's uh, extension is 111 in case you get to an automated message. But he should be over there answering calls, and um, he'll help you get into that Tradio. And then when they announce Tradio from 3 to 6, um, you'll be right there on that list. Okay. That, that was that last four numbers was what, 7? Uh, 7700. So the whole okay. thing for the Redemption Center is 847 seven four one seven seven zero zero okay thank you very much thank you sir have a great day three to six correct say again three to six yeah three Three to six the drive time deal with matt mcneil that is all focused directly on radio shopping and tradio and all of the deals that we can help you make okay thank you very much thank you sir have a great day you too so um, we all want to save some money. We all want to make sure that we can get the best deal that we can. How can I make the best deal I can when I've got $108,000? That's three times the amount of the stuff that comes in here. Ben, if this is not predatory loan, what is? Uh, yeah, literally a little old lady. It's like, come on. It, it, I mean, um if anything, it's uh, it's it's cool that um, at least she's been able to make the low payments and not have. I mean, you said forbearance. Yeah, that sucks. That um, does suck. But the other thing is, even when you fiscally. make the low payments, it's only low because somebody else is kind of promising. No, no, no. They'll they'll pay the re- the, the remainder of it later. They'll pay the so. You with interest and everything right, else, right. you may owe eight hundred dollars for that payment, but they've said, you know what, just give me four and we'll just take care of, of we'll 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 count it as a payment made. Now we won't erase the remaining four hundred dollars that you owe us. We'll just add it to the pile. Yeah, obviously. Um so it's just yeah. I, I don't know. Is they wrote laws about predatory lending. Why does this not fit the bill? Exactly. That's what I think um, is the kind of um, uh, idea behind uh, why why this isn't um, immediately uh, stopped. Like, you know, um, uh, the people would have uh, like basically, uh, oh, eventually they're going to forgive this kind of thing. Um, mm-hmm. So in the meantime, let's, um, you know, cyclically charge this little old lady and grow her debt so that we could borrow against that kind of thing. Um, very annoyingly, uh, that's the way that, uh, a lot of the capitalism, uh, is framed these days and mm-hmm. set up, uh, that, you know, um, you, you this lady went to school for psychology, um, at a older age, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, just, to, like maybe the the first uh, the first mark of uh, the the education system uh, the, that we see I don't know as it just seems like to me it was um, on the it, on the it, way up too uh, an, an example exemplary um, of uh, how people uh, uh, yeah are are predatory and then the framing that makes them think uh, it's just the way the world is uh, you know a little later or not. Um, and then you, they go ahead and do that to a bunch of people with the uh, student loans and student loan debt and all that stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. Well, all uh, those of the, you out there that are again, going, uh, go ahead. In, uh, in in like giving people who think like that grace, um, usually their intentions aren't to uh, uh, you know be jerks. And it, the the idea in their head is that uh, oh well, this will be you know basically forgiven, you know. So uh, the debt wise. Um, what I'm doing isn't the worst thing kind of thing. So mm-hmm. uh, no, I absolutely if, understand. Uh, hopefully we could just change the practices. Yeah. Well, I mean, with the, with the price of everything for college going up and then all of the state budget, the first place they take everything out of is education. It used to be 80, 20, the government paid for 80. You only had to pay for 20 and that has absolutely flipped. You're listening to Out to Lunch. Hey, if you're one of those people that said, oh, well, they, they took out a loan. They should be paying for it. Well, did you take out a PPP loan? Did you pay for it? 
We'll be right back. WRMN 1410. My name is Dennis Sonar Green. We'll be back with a little bit of radio shopping deals. I'll let you know how to get that 25% off on International Theater Day. We'll be right back. Right after this. Anderson Japanese Gardens, ranked the highest quality Japanese garden in North America and located right in the heart of Rockford. Their mission is to open minds to a different culture while offering a place of peace and tranquility where one can find healing, renewal, inspiration, and a re-energized soul. A premier destination for corporate functions, special events, weddings, and receptions. For directions, hours, and fees, visit andersongarden.org today. Theriault Booth, a leading local law firm, is located on the beautiful Fox River in downtown St. Charles. Here's Ryan Theriault. For better or worse, there are just times people need a lawyer. Whether you are involved in a work injury, in an automobile crash, selling a home, or even planning for your estate after your passing, we're here. We're local. We're part of the community. For more information, visit them on the web at tbfirm.com or give them a call at 630-526-4242. This is McGruff the Crime Dog, and I need you to help me take a bite out of crime. Counterfeit products are popping up everywhere. Fake sneakers, fake cosmetics, and even fake pills. Crooks are selling counterfeit versions of just about everything. Last year, billions of dollars worth of counterfeit products were sold in the U.S. Sure, it may seem like saving a few bucks on the things you want isn't a big deal, but counterfeits are usually made in unsafe conditions potentially using hazardous and even lethal ingredients that could harm you and others. And the money you paid, it goes right into the hands of criminals and may support child labor, drugs, and even gangs. <sighs> Smells yes, like ben. big crime yes. to me. So if you still think buying fake products is harmless, think again. And remember, if you don't know where the products came from, how could you It may have to be in goes? the next hour, though. You're smart. Buy smart. Go for real. Learn more at mcgruffpsa.org. This message is brought to you by the United States Patent and Trademark Office and the National Crime Prevention Council. Is it noon already? Take your lunch hour up a notch with Out to Lunch from 12 to 2 p.m. right here on WRMN 1410 a.m. Unwind with the perfect blend of soothing sounds and lighthearted conversations that'll make every bite taste better. Whether you're in office or out on the town, let us serve up the best in radio company. Stream on the go with our app on Google and Apple. Because lunchtime is your time. Out to lunch every day from 12 to 2 on WRMN 1410 AM. The talk of the town. From morning coffee to your evening commute, WRMN 1410 AM is here for you. The faithful friend that brings you local news, timely topics, and the friendliest voices in the valley. Stay informed, entertained, and engaged with our full lineup of shows. Streaming all day, every day at WRMN1410.com or on the WRMN app. Wherever you are, we're right there with you. So why switch stations? Stick with the one that has it all. WRMN 1410 AM, your daily companion, your constant conversation. Over the years, you've brought them into your home. You were prescribed opioids after the C-section, when dad injured his back, when your basketball star tore his ACL. Opioids helped with the pain, and you held on to them, just in case. But did you know holding on to unused opioids puts your family at risk? Opioids are powerful pain-reducing prescription medicines, but most people who are prescribed opioids don't finish their prescriptions. So millions of unused opioids are sitting in homes across the country. And tragically, more than 100 Americans die every day from overdoses involving opioids. What can you do to protect your family? Remove the risk of unused opioids from your home. Pills, patches, or syrups in drawers, purses, and cabinets. Anywhere they might be hiding. To find out how to dispose of them properly, visit www.fda.gov slash drug disposal. Welcome back to WRMN Out to Lunch with WRMN. My name is Dennis Sonar Green. Joining me today from Zoom from the other side of Gulf Road, we've got that connection. What is They used to call it the Elgin Highway, the Evanston-Elgin Highway. 
something along those lines. He's on the other side uh, over from our sister station, WCGO. And then we've also got me here in studio in Elgin, WRM. In the voice of the valley, the talk of the town, the home of radio shopping. Speaking of radio shopping, I'm going to talk a little bit about International Theater Day. What? What does that have to do with radio shopping? How can an international day of theater be part of the radio shopping side of it? Well, you guessed it. I've got deals on theater tickets. So, Ben, if you can see this, check this out. Let's see if we can find our... Oh, I thought we had it. I thought we had one with the screen. No, we don't. We've only got me with the screen. I thought we had Zoom and screen, but that's okay. I've got the screen right here. Screen. You don't. You, what, what do you need me for? Screen. This is radio, Ben. Why are you talking about screens, you crazy person? Well, you can you can watch us on the YouTube. Put us on your screen right there. Take that black mirror, just, push that button. I just touched up my mirror. appearance. That's it. <laughs> so uh, let's see here. 25% off uh, the markdown, and that isn't just for uh, the shows. Uh, the feature shows are uh, down below, but you can take 25% off of the other things that are out there. The Grateful Dead experience in the Egyptian theater let me, you know what? I, I've got the screens right here. Why just show you the Daily Deal flyer? Why don't I just show you the actual in, entertainment tab? Did you know that we've got all of this entertainment that's sitting here? I've got the awesome Ottawa tours, fine Batavia, fine arts, of course, the Egyptian theater. Check out the Grateful Dead side of it. A $60. Uh, pair of the Grateful Dead experience, just $20. That's it. I can get you a pair of those tickets. Or uh, we've got the George Michael Reborn that's over at the uh, Rouse Center for Arts. Uh, R-A-U-E for that center of arts that you're at. Um, maybe your kids like to go on stage. Uh, Rockin' Kids has over 60 locations where your kids can go and just rock out. Um, learn how to uh, bang on the drums a little bit. Go play some instruments with some other kids. That's a $100 certificate, Ben. Uh, $40 on that right there. Uh, if you want the children's so side of it do. as well, James of the Giant Peach in the Children's Theater of Elgin. That is a phenomenal story about a boy who gets magical worms and accidentally drops them on a peach tree and a giant peach comes out and he travels the world and a giant floating peach. It's definitely fun. It is a cool ride um, right there. The Children's Theater of Elgin. That's a $30 pair of those tickets. Uh, that went for just $16 to take them kids out there. It is summer, uh, or I'm sorry, spring vacation, man. So you got to get those kids out. You got to get them moving and, and experiencing as many things. How many times, like, as you were a kid, you were like, man, I wish I could go to this thing, but I've got school. Boo, school, <laughs> right? They don't have school. Stop using school as an excuse. They don't have school right now. Nobody's got school right now. I, mean, I guess maybe if you're homeschooled, but then then like every day you're at home. You never have to go to school. Were you um, a theater kid at all, Ben? Um, not necessarily. I, I was in like a drama class, I remember, in high school. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, more so just a, a class clown uh, amongst my friends, but uh, a, maybe a th theatric or dramatic person at times, but... Not not so much a theater geek, um, and it's I, I gotta say like uh, it's one of those things I forget even coming from the area uh, around Hoffman Estates and Palatine, like how great the uh, the theater uh, scene is in Elgin. It, it's real cool to see the, the thriving live performances and a bunch of cool stuff for kids to do, um, and which is you said it, man. Like you got to plan to go out and do things, you know, a couple times a year. And that's why uh, radio shopping is so great because it gives people who maybe can't afford 
this kind of stuff the opportunity to go check this stuff out for the first time so hopefully we've got some of those listeners and uh, yeah go uh, do something create some uh what the what the kids are calling uh uh, core memories. Core memories. Uh, That's the one. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, you you got to You got to You could only say like back in the day when we were growing up, it was oh you go to the park, go play outside, go hang out with your friends, and you can only do that so much uh, before it's just boring, and uh, you need to, to go and uh, plan stuff, uh, fun stuff, and uh, informational, educational. Uh, theater is a great way to learn, and. Uh, Mm-hmm. grow emotionally i always so, have trouble picking it. something to do and then after i i pick something to do i turn around and go oh my gosh why is it so far away i gotta pay the gas mm-hmm. i gotta get everybody in the van i gotta do all of this what i like yeah. about oh, how i use the chance radio shopping six flags every day <laughs> yeah exactly well what i try to do with the radio shopping side is i turn around and say okay let's find something to do on the radio shopping site and then what's great about it is I now am saving the money for gas. Like, I, I, I already get to pick where I want to go. And now I'm picking and turning around and saving the 3 to $6 that I'm going to be burning in gas out there anyway. If you're looking at the Zanies Club of it, the Zanies, I've got to pay for the two drinks anyway. So why don't I get a deal on the show and then that kind of pays for one of the drinks. So, I mean, you're you're always trying to play this savings game, couponing and everything else. Why not just get the gift certificate? It's like cash, and you get to wave it around and show off how you took WRMN out to lunch. We'll be right back for another hour of just that. WRMN 1410, the Voice of the Valley, talking the town, the home of radio shopping. Columbia College of Missouri Elgin Campus is intent in their commitment to open doors and support those who strive for excellence. Too many people have been made to feel that higher education isn't a place for them, that it is someone else's dream. But Columbia College of Missouri has changed all that. With individualized attention and ongoing support, Columbia College knows a future built by you is a future built for you. Columbia College of Missouri Elgin Campus, your new starts now. Visit ccis.edu. It's the time of the year where storms and inclement weather can pop up unexpectedly. If you have a generator powered by a small engine, keep it running like a top. Don't do the tune-up yourself. Let AIM Small Engine Repair at 674 Laurel Street in Elgin handle your generator. AIM's can do oil changes, spark plugs, and make all the necessary adjustments. From simple tune-ups to major repairs, AIM Small Engine can do it all. Don't forget it's not too early to think about a lawnmower tune-up. Call 847-742-8750. Your hometown radio station since 1949. We are WRMN AM 1410 Elgin time, 1 o'clock. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Brought to you by Sky Rizzi. Explore proven results with Sky Rizzi. A child missing from South Elgin has been found safe after six years. Kayla Unbahan has been located alive at Asheville, North Carolina. Her mother, Heather Unbahan, standing accused of child abduction following a custody loss. The pair were identified by an employee of a secondhand clothing store who remembered them from a feature on Unsolved Mysteries. Kane County State's Attorney Jamie L. Mosser has reported that the election complaint hotline received five calls during the general primary election day voting three were related to electioneering one was about privacy during a voter registration and the last one dealt with a missing race due to a boundary error in a newly announced commercial property deal a 53,000 square foot warehouse lease has been negotiated by lee and associates on behalf of bullfrog international a luxury hot tub designer and manufacturer now expands its presence in elgin at 1320 gateway drive with your am 1410 wrmn news flash i'm sean Get the one and done you want for your dog's monthly protection. NexGuard Plus, a Foxal Honor Moxidectin and Pyrantal chewable tablets. Protects against fleas, ticks, heartworm disease, roundworms, and hookworms. All in one delicious beef-flavored soft chew. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. Dogs should be tested for existing heartworm infection prior to starting a preventive. Ask your vet about NexGuard Plus chews. Progressive asks, what do a late-night pizza craving? 
pizza place. Can I get one large pepperoni pizza? A newly licensed teen delivery driver. A guaranteed delivery time or it's free offer. And your front fence have in common? Uh-oh. That's my fence! They can turn your stomach upside down in under 30 minutes. I'm still getting a tip, right? Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round-the-clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. As the Elgin Police Department continues to participate in the distracted driving campaign, they wanted to share some tips from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration website regarding safe driving. If you are expecting a text or need to send one, pull over and park your car in a safe location. Once you are safely off the road and parked, it's safe to text. Designate your passenger as your designated texter. Allow them to access your phone to respond to calls or messages. Do not engage in social media scrolling or messaging while driving. Are you struggling not to text and drive? Activate your phone's Do Not Disturb feature or put your cell phone in the trunk, the glove box, or the back seat of your vehicle until you arrive at your destination. Remember the Elgin police are conducting directed patrols to enforce distracted driving violations. Just drive and stay safe. A message from our friends at the Elgin Police Department and your friends here at WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. The Wizards beat the Bulls 107 to 105 last night. DeMar DeRozan 27 points in the loss. Chicago drops to 34 and 38. For Washington, it was their season high third straight win. The Wizards just 14 and 58 on the season, eight and 30 away from home. Chicago's lost three in a row. They're ninth in the East, a game and a half ahead of Atlanta. NHL: The Blackhawks host the Flames tonight. Puck drop at 7:30 at United Center. Chicago already eliminated from playoff contention. They're coming off a five. Four victory on the road at San Jose. NCAA men's hoops this Thursday, Sweet 16 East Regional. Third seed Illinois battle second seed Iowa State. The Cubs are set for opening day. They made some roster moves on Monday. Outfielder Alexander Canario, right-hander Hayden Wesneski option to AAA Iowa. The team also released catcher Jorge Alfaro. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. Taco Bell just dropped the new Cravings value menu. Now you can get 10 items for $3 or less, which means you can get the food you want for the price you want. It's almost like you can have your cake and eat it too. But in this case, it's a double stack taco from the new Cravings value menu. So basically, you can have your double stack taco and eat it too, which is a lot crunchier than cake. The new Cravings value menu is here. Get it at Taco Bell today. At participating U.S. Taco Bell locations while supplies last. Contact store for price and participation, which vary. Tax extra. And now Martha Stewart for Skechers. When I make a dish or embark on a craft project, I always use the finest, most fabulous ingredients and materials. Which is why, when it comes to footwear, I love Skechers. Because Skechers is the comfort technology company and uses the most luxurious, innovative materials and designs to make wondrously comfortable footwear with all the fits and features like ArchFit and Skechers' world-famous air-cooled memory foam. It's exactly the way I... Oh no, I just hit that post and my car's got a dent. Uh Uh-oh, better get Mako. Oh yeah? Where are they? Mako is America's body shop. They're the world's largest provider of paint and collision services. They're located at 212 Western Avenue in Carpentersville, across from Spring Hill Mall. I've used them. Check out my car. Wow, looking good. Everything was so easy and affordable. Hummer and staff were super friendly and really knew their stuff. I'm going to call them now. Mention WRMN 1410 at the Carpentersville Mako and receive 10% off today. What's the best way to get rid of a timeshare that you don't want? Call the Timeshare Exit Hotline. We're a group of attorneys that help customers legally exit their timeshares. It's an easy process. We guarantee results or you pay nothing. Exit your timeshare today. Call now. 800-890-5957. 800-890-5957. That's 800-890-5957. Welcome back to WRMN. Voice of the Valley, the talk of the town, the home of the radio shopping right there, home of radio shopping. 
at WRMN1410. Also, the Redemption Center at 16 Douglas. Shout out to all the people in the Redemption Center right now. Woo-wee. I hope you are getting your gift certificates. I hope Matt McNeil is taking care of you. Matt McNeil will be taking care of you, fine listeners, from 3 to 6. Even if you don't come into the Redemption Center, I know, I know, sometimes you don't want to drive down into beautiful downtown Elgin right here on Douglas, but um, maybe you want to talk to him. Maybe you want to give him a call. Redemption Center is 847-741-7700. 25% off a lot a lot of things except for the new business and for the uh, featured shows. We've got featured shows already at a wonderful discount. What feature shows are you talking about, Sonar? Um, well, that would be the Grateful Dead Experience, the Egyptian Theater de a $60 uh, pair of tickets for just 20 bucks. 20 bucks, we can take you out to the Grateful Dead Experience. One of the great quotes that I have for Jerry Garcia is um, uh, choosing the lesser of two evils is still choosing evil. So um, that's a sentiment that we've got a lot in this country right now of just the election side of it and all of the other choices that we've got. But... Um, if you want to go see the Grateful Dead experience, the jam band that was the band to jam with uh, the Egyptian Theater uh, in DeKalb has it. The $90 pair to the George Michael Reborn from the Rouse Center for the Arts in Crystal Lake, just north of here. Um, $90 pair. I can get it to you today for the on-air deals for just $40. Everything else is a 25% off additional deal. But we're not here just to talk about the radio shopping. We're the voice of the valley. We want to hear from you. Studio 14, 847 931 If you want to go ahead and join the conversation. And joining the conversation today would be the executive producer extraordinaire. And that would be uh, Ben Demonium Boquest. Ben, if they had an Esquire to put at the end of the executive producer, like Ben Demonium Esquire for everything, I know that I would probably put that on, on your resume, sir. Oh, man. You know my uh, – ooh, turn my room volume down. My Facebook name used to be Ben Boquist, attorney at law. <laughs> that was my last There name. it is. We've got a caller on so, the line that's already. Good enough. Thanks for joining the conversation, caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, hi, Sonar. It's Scott from Bartlett. How hey, Scott. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what, Scott. I've got some questions for you. My, the first Please, one wait. is is uh, McDaniel. How, uh, how do you see this McDaniel thing? Is it yes, union? Is it uh, yes, it was um free speech squandering like what well how do you how do you feel about this scott well i, I think i've told you my i was you know i was had the, i had the uh, cans on headphones for 12 years so i'm not an expert but i did morning drive in chicago so i'm, I'm certainly not an expert and i've been out of the game for a while so things have changed politically mm -hmm. now my thoughts on that sonar is as you know i'm, I'm i swing to the left um that being said i think NBC or CNBC made a mistake because when uh, Joe Scarborough went off and Rachel Maddow went off, mm -hmm. and I believe it was Chuck Todd on Sunday, if I'm correct on that, yeah. on those three uh, statements, um, I think they should have left her. They should have let, let her get her side of the story. And I, I feel as though they jumped to the gun there, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, if you if you have a CEO of a company and they're not doing a good job, after a year or two, the stockholders are going to say bye bye. So yeah. I think maybe the the because no, those are those are heavily big big players. I mean, do you but, think they should have uh, just given her a chance? How long should they have given her the chance? Let I mean, they're not going to give yeah, her a, a prime time show. They're not going to give her the prime time no, time. No, but she was, she was a contributor. So should they? How exactly, long should they have given her a chance to say? I something? would say six months. Okay. I, mean, I don't think that was. I mean, I'm not a. I'm not a. I'm not a fan of hers. I mean, mm. she is, as you know, Mitt Romney's niece, and she changes her name because of Trump. 
She yeah. did not want to. She. I mean, that's so. It's ridiculous. That's. But well, that's and that proves point. that proves that she was in a tight spot. Uh, the, I think the point that Ben made earlier in the last hour was that she was in a tight spot as a RNC chairperson. And she said that too. She said, look, as the chair, I had to take some licks. I had to do everything. I'm excited to do me now. And I mean, it, I don't know. I, I absolutely understand where people were griping about, but not to give her a chance exactly. to say you know, something. You know, maybe for at least three months, 90 days of trial, mm -hmm. if she was that opinionated, and that awful. Okay, then, then uh, you know it's time for the pink foot. But I also she... think Chuck Todd was. I think Chuck Todd was a little upset because they have been trying to get her on Meet the Press since she came on in seventeen. So now, uh, years and years later, now she finally decides to come on, but only if she's a contributor. So well, it... you know this. Mm. This. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. This goes back to, um, you know, uh, Mr. Orange Boy, who now is going to have Laura Trump or Laura, however her, let's see, the mm -hmm. Laura, Laura Trump is going to run the RNC because that's all going in his pocket. We know that. Yeah, they've well, they've already put out a policy for the RNC, and I'll, I'll have to look it up. I think you can take it directly from the RNC, but they've already put out a statement that all of the money that comes into the RNC will first go to Trump's super PAC to pay the legal bills, and then everything that the RNC collects then goes out to the rest of the RNC. So they've already yeah, yeah. built in this dam that this has to fill up before the RNC gets the next next penny. Well, there's nothing that, that you know Trump says you can believe. Now, I'll leave hmm. it this thought. I wanted to throw this one out to you. Yeah. Just being holy, we, I'm a strong person of faith. I, I believe you are. Um, this is what you know what what that what the far right wing does it's it's so it's so horrible now he is he is um selling his bibles with the mm -hmm. lee greenwood song for 59.99 my bible's sitting right here and i paid 20 dollars for it mm -hmm. now you know he's just grifting i mean you, you know you, you can't be an idiot to figure that out i mean where yeah. where is the ethics where is the ethics of that man to sit there and and really try to hustle and grift a mm -hmm. Bible for fifty nine ninety nine. Well, I think the, says, the biggest issue he with he was on the prayer, like he like he knows verses of the Bible. Well, since he came onto the scene, it has been a financial boon for political uh, parties. I mean, right now, I think the Biden war chest is sitting at over a hundred million dollars. Of the of just what they have just for the presidential campaign, um, and then you look at the RNC. I think over the last quarter they only raised and maybe only have about thirty to fifty million dollars in cash. I don't know. I, I've got again. I've got to find that article. I think it was from the Hill, where they talked about who's got that gain. So if right. you look at it now, it's Scott. Back in the day, you had to get votes. That was it. Yeah. You you had to get votes. I had to drum up votes. I had to go and find constituents. Uh, heck, I had to make policies back in the day. I couldn't just sure. say whatever bumper sticker I want to. I had to make policies to get those votes. Now it's not about that. It's about the well, dollars. Know, that's, that's, that's an excellent statement, Soner. And uh, back, I was on I was on the air from uh, 1999 to 2012. So again, the political. Uh, horizon has changed but mm -hmm. i do remember um having on i had i was on a very conservative station and i was really the only liberal on the on that station that being said i would always listen to the right i never yeah. argued but what i would do i would bring up facts and you know the facts tell the truth and i did have on pete phillips i don't know if you know that name he's a, he was a big big wig with the republican party he just passed he was the state chairman um, I grew up in Elmhurst. So I knew him very well. Mm -hmm. And I once said to Peyton, this was, like I said, this interview was probably 2012, 2013, 2000, in that area, 2011, I, I want to say. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, I said, Peyton, how, how, you know, how can a job that pays at the time, I'll say $50,000 for, or, or I'll take 150000 at that time for a, uh, a senator or a House of Representatives, 
spent $2 million on a campaign. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? I mean, it's just it's the logic. And now it's ridiculous. Like, to be a president, we have to spend uh, a billion dollars. You know well, what and that's what it is, is, is the money has, has gone into it. I mean, and when essentially when you're able to say all corporations are people, and then you turn around with the other hand and say, well, people can spend as much money on a, can- uh, a, a candidate as they want. Well, that's the two-handed side, of the, the one-two the one combo for us. And honestly, every single person that I've talked to that has any kind of political mind in any kind of way says 80% of all of our problems will be cleaned up by the removal of Citizens United. Oh, exactly. It's, it's where a lot of this stems from. And if it's not apparent now, it will be apparent in the upcoming elections. Because it's, it, we all talk about how they need to have the sponsorship on their uh, tuxedos. They need to put logos like NASCAR all over their stuff. That's essentially what needs to happen. If you're going to get stuff from the super PAC, from a super PAC, into a super PAC, it, it just, it's the shell game that they just move around so that you have to follow where the money comes in because they're not after votes anymore, Scott. They're after dollars. Who can drum up the most dollars? So this is the challenge well, I have to our voters yeah. is yeah. turn around and stop donating to the party and donate to the candidate. Donate exactly. directly to the person you want. If they say vote with your dollars, well, then that's exactly what we're going to do. Well, you know, um, before I run here, um, the interesting point is Mr. Trump is going to be having um, his uh, hush money trial starting on the April 20 or April 15th, I believe, mm-hmm. tax day. That being said, um, what I put out on, on my on my Facebook uh, to my to my Republican friends or enemies, whatever that may be, uh, is Melania going to be there? And the interesting thing mm-hmm. about that, I'm sure you've got a lot of Republicans listening right now. You never see Melania with. Mr. Trump, do you? Yeah, she was just on the campaign yeah. trail maybe last week, but you're right. It, it wasn't rumors, a lot. And, rumors, no, I don't and when they true. asked her, when they asked her, are you going to be with the with the former president for the, the next rallies and things like that? She said something along the lines of stand by or will uh, stay. She said, stay tuned. That's what but she there's said. A pretty good rumor. There's a pretty good rumor that he's paying her to make those appearances. I could believe that. Yes, that. If you if you look at the 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 prenup or anything else that she's got with him to begin with, she did not want him to run for president to begin with in there. Well, Scott, I gotta let you go. Where can people okay, find you out there on the uh, on the old internets in case they want to have a, a further conversation with you? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Where can people find you on the internet in case they want to um, follow or, or um, oh, get into yeah. another I'm conversation on, um, with you? I still do vo- I still do voiceovers, but uh, it's Scott. V A N D E R S T U Y F Facebook. Real simple. Scott V A N D my stage name was Scott Allen, but my real name is Scott V A N D E R S T U Y F on Facebook. Wonderful. Well we'll uh we'll see if we can get a, another conversation going. I always like your insights, sir. Thank you for Thank you, uh Lauren. for giving have, it to if us. If I don't talk to you, have a, a blessed Easter. Thank you. You too. You too. Thank you. Scott always bringing in some knowledge with us, some facts as it comes in. I mean, honestly, that's what we need. We need more of that discussion. Now, do we need more blue? We need more red? We need no, no, no. Let's just mix it all together. Let's get it in there. Um, let's get a nice shade of purple, some royal uh, colors that we've got here. That should be the only royalty in our politics is just the uh, purple side of it. Ben, how do you feel about this? I know you are not a big uh, proponent of money in politics. How do you feel about the Katie Porter approach to everything, where I don't, where she doesn't take money from PACs, she doesn't take money from corporations, she only ha- she has essentially like a GoFundMe, GoFundMe to Congress. Um, how do you feel about us? Yeah. Kind of is this a tool to take back? The legislation, is this a just, you know what, you're burning your money, that she's not going to really do anything? How do you feel about these micro donations? 
you know, it's super, uh, super commendable. And, um, uh, really the, uh, the, the only chance that people have, uh, to, it's like, you know, they say you, you're really voting with your money, uh, a lot of times. And it's, it's annoying to the degree that we're voting with our money. I'll just say, it, leave it at that. Um, all the, if, I mean, if, if I really wanted to, uh, sleep well at night, I'd stop eating food <laughs> at all. <laughs> like stop buying, uh, stuff from every company because they're, because of the citizens united thing so uh it's it's tough because at some point you got to say you know what damn it i just want a cheeseburger and i don't care uh what the the people <laughs> you know i don't care what uh the the corporate strings are pulling the things that's true are, are doing i um, saw or, a you know what uh, we, we shouldn't have to no i In saw America, a tweet that's the kind other of day. the idea of I, I saw a tweet the exactly, other day that yeah. said um that said, uh, I, I've just paid $23 for a lukewarm cheeseburger to be delivered to me. Uh, congratulations, capitalism. Like, <laughs> we, the economy's doing swell. Uh, you're listening to Out to Lunch on Everybody WRMN. The uh, Voice of the Valley, talk of the town. When we come back, we're going to talk about Bill of Rights, not the Bill of Rights that you think of, the Bill of Rights for maybe the lady dancers. Oh, my goodness. We're going to talk more. WRMN 1410, the voice of the valley, the talk of the town, the home of radio shopping. We'll be right back after this. Over the years, you've brought them into your home. You were prescribed opioids after the C-section. When dad injured his back, when your basketball star tore his ACL, Opioids helped with the pain, and you held on to them, just in case. But did you know holding on to unused opioids puts your family at risk? Opioids are powerful pain-reducing prescription medicines, but most people who are prescribed opioids don't finish their prescriptions. So millions of unused opioids are sitting in homes across the country, and tragically, more than 100 Americans die every day from overdoses involving opioids. What can you do to protect your family? Remove the risk of unused opioids from your home. Pills, patches, or syrups in drawers, purses, and cabinets, anywhere they might be hiding. To find out how to dispose of them properly, visit www.fda.gov slash drug disposal. A recent Gallup poll indicated that 38% of Americans are putting off health care because of financial concerns, the highest ever recorded. I'm Dr. Bob Martin, here to serve you every Sunday afternoon from 1 to 4. Millions of Americans are seeking health advice that will not cost an arm and a leg, so I offer health tips and advice absolutely free. Listen to my show, Sunday afternoons from 1 to 4, right here on WRMN, AM 1410 and 96.7 FM, the voice of the valley and the home of radio shopping show. Come on out to the country, country donuts that is, at Route 20 and Nestler Road. They're always open. Donuts are made daily using only the finest ingredients to ensure freshness. Their huge variety of donuts offers something to please everyone. Country Donuts doesn't stop at offering you the best donuts. Enjoy a delicious breakfast sandwich or stop in for lunch and try a bowl of their famous chili. Need a larger or special donut order for your office? Call 847-488-1900. Let me tell you a story about Bill. Bill was a normal guy in his 50s. He had back surgery about two years ago. Bill was in a lot of pain. He dealt with his pain by taking the Percocets his doctor prescribed for him. Bill took more and more and more of them to help with the pain until one day the prescriptions weren't enough to get rid of Bill's pain. Then one day Bill found someone to help him get rid of the pain with illegal drugs he didn't need a prescription for. Fast forward to today. Bill lost his job and his family. The only thing he does have is his drug dealer. If you know Bill's story and you don't want to end up like Bill, call the Detox and Treatment Helpline right now to get away and get treatment. 800-694-1127. 800-694-1127. Call right now. Help is standing by. 800-694-1127. 
The Distance Social, your spot for great craft cocktails with meaningful conversation. Whether you're out entertaining a group or out for a memorable nightcap, The Distance Social is your spot for starting or ending the perfect evening. Located at 314 North River Street in beautiful East Dundee, Illinois. Go the distance and find your social at The Distance Social. Looking to get your fingers on some delicious grub? Look no further than Sticky Fingers in Carpentersville. Family owned and operated, Sticky Fingers specializes in chicken, fish, and shrimp, which you can choose to have dusted with flavor or doused in the sauce of your choice. Sticky Fingers strives to provide flavorful food with fresh, locally sourced ingredients. Sticky Fingers personally invites you to stop by and try one of their scrumptious dishes today. Welcome back to WRMN 1410 AM. I apologize, Ben. I left our cameras up the entire break. So everybody was sitting here watching us just just doing the doing the break stuff. Uh, you wanted to watch us, you want to watch us for anything, um, YouTube Live at WRMN Radio. Go to the YouTube. Uh, you'll see us there. Subscribe while you're there. It's easy to find the first episode. It's always easy to find the first episode. Can you get to the second? Do you have notifications in, uh, enabled for the third? So that's it. Go ahead and follow. Make sure you get part of the conversation. Studio 14 can always be reached at 847-931-1410 to join the conversation, just like Scott did. Or if you're looking at some Tradio or some radio shopping, the Redemption Center is 847-741-7700. The physical location of that is 16 Douglas right here in downtown Elgin. Uh, thank you again, Ben, for being here with me. Absolutely. A blessing to be uh, asked upon the show. Thank you for having me on. There's a Bill of Rights that's out there, not just the 10 that uh, are in the Constitution, that we uh, that we have the first ten amendments are obviously the uh, the Bill of Rights. Some fantastic things that we get from the Bill of Rights. Uh, first Amendment is one of my absolute favorites. I exercise it every day I possibly can, and even point out sometimes when you're not allowed to use the First Amendment. It's it's rough. It's it's uh, the First Amendment also puts restrictions on things, Ben. I don't know if you know this or not. It's not just about the freedom. There's some restrictions from that. Uh, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or the press or the right of the people people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. My goodness, I love it. Um, we've got a caller already coming in. Hopefully they're talking about the uh, the Bill of Rights or any of the other rights. And, and we're building up to the story. We're building up to the fancy, fancy story. But we've got a caller. Hello, caller. Welcome to the conversation. Yeah, I guess that's me. Yes, I sir. To to you, so now I met you once. Over at Arcades, my name's Cleveland Dennis. Hey, it's Cleveland Dennis. I'm Cincinnati Dennis. I was born in Cincinnati. Yeah, I'm Cleveland, man. <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. First half of my life and the second half over here. But there you go. It's kind of wild. I, I listen to you. Thank you. stuff. Sometimes I don't know what we're talking about, but here. <laughs> Just while, while I was sitting here waiting, I listened to those commercials. Yeah. I gotta say this: How in the world does WRMN get the FDA to advertise? The what to advertise? FDA, Food and Drug Administration. Oh, the FDA to advertise. Well, you know, I've got connections, Dennis. I've got con you, I've got okay. connections here and there. Yeah. Um, that's a PSA. That's that would be a, a public. Yeah. yeah, so that's a PSA from them. Um, they put okay. a lot of that stuff out. Um, I grabbed also one from uh, from my childhood, Dennis uh, Scruff McGruff. That's that's the one that 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 I, I always put in there. 
uh, Scruff McGruff, Chicago, word, Illinois, six zero six five two. Right, right, Dennis. That's the the whole the whole jingle. Remember Scruff. Remember this. Yeah. About tell, tell telling the listeners don't litter, but listen, the FDA. Ha, this is how my thinking is. Okay. Yeah. The FDA. You ever deal with them? Sometimes, sometimes here yeah, and there, they they go over uh, a few different things. Oh, yeah. Only at the I grocery store, the, no the GA, uh, other governmental uh, agencies, they're connected mm-hmm. to customs, so I deal with. But yeah, they're spending money. Mm-hmm. You're telling me they're spending money to tell the public not to OD on opioids and find them where they're hidden. Find the opioids where they're hidden. Have you listened to that? Yeah. Effort? <laughs> no, they they are hidden but, here and there. I mean, um, the other thing is the United States has a, a huge uh, opioid uh, epidemic that's going on right now. I mean, the major yeah, manufacturer. We know all about of, that. Of, We've heard about it, but mm-hmm. why don't they put the money that they're spending for that advertising mm-hmm. and spend it at the border? Oh, they don't spend any money. Me, I am obligated by the uh, FCC license to put a certain number of PSAs uh, together. So they're not spending any money I'm, with me. I'm glad you explained that and how that works. Yeah. Because yeah, I've got to put I out. I some of this stuff, mm-hmm. and all it does is bring on other questions, like what the heck is this about? Oh, absolutely. Because I dealt with the FDA, and I wonder if they're spending money, but they mm-hmm. got too much money. One of my good friends just uh, – one of my good friends going up over there in Cleveland, he just uh, mm-hmm. retired from the FDA. I get to hear what he has to say from time well, to so time. So that's also but, a thing that um, the Supreme Court is also talking about. It's, it's a, a, a really, really interesting topic. They're talking about how the and, and we're, we're into the same constitutional side. So the Supreme Court now has a uh, case in front of them about all of the different government agencies. So what they, what um, I think it's Alito and possibly Thomas are talking about is so, so like the FDA was put together, I believe by Nixon, Ben, right? Um, the, oh no, the FDA was before that. Was before Nixon? Okay. No, it was the EPA. Yeah. Sorry. The EPA was put yeah. together by Nixon. Okay, so, um, okay. that makes so, sense. so yeah. essentially what, what they're claiming is this is technically the fourth branch of government. So if you look at it, you've got the judicial branch, which is the Supreme Court. You've got the legislative branch, which is our Congress. And of course, you've got the executive branch. So what the Supreme Court now has to decide if all of these different ones um, are all of these, it keeps blurring out, Ben. You're gonna have to text it to me. so all of the um, all of the different uh, uh, agencies that are out there that are supposed to support Congress uh, are for it. Uh, throw FDA t- uh, its origins back to the creation of the Agricultural Division of the Patent Office. Okay, eighteen forty eight is what that says, Ben. Uh, nineteen oh six. Nineteen oh six. My or, goodness. Yeah, the pat- probably right. That's probably right. Yeah, the Patent Office in 1848, I think, is what did it all up until there. So there's a few things with the FDA and the Supreme Court right now. So one of them is obviously the methapristone uh, trial that's going on right now. And they're starting to work with a, um, oh, what is it? It's the comms. Uh, the comms law or something along those lines where you're not allowed to ship obscene things through the mail. Well, I'll talk to Adam and Eve and all of those different um, adult toys that are going and shipped through the mail and everything else. We'll start talking about that. But the biggest thing is, is the Supreme Court is hoping to hear about how the EPA, the FDA, the IRS, the uh, ATF, all of these things may be unconstitutional because it's supposed to be the Congress that makes laws and regulations, not an entity that Congress assigned to make laws and regulations. So, um, so Comment. they're starting to talk about that. Comment. The, <laughs> the 
politicians are too busy campaigning to do that. Anyhow, <laughs> of course, Dennis, so, they need to make their money too. I mean, that's that's right, it. Right. Well, it's it's but practically see, hear, panhandling at this point. Where, <laughs> where they, I love that. I, I love that because that's what I see. That leads me up to a couple more things. Here. Yeah. I'm going to bring this up. You Let's vote go. for your dollars. That was the heartbeat and anthem since about 1971 when I was going to community college over in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And I used to listen to the uh, Case Western Reserve College radio station. And they yeah. were talking about voting for your dollars. I didn't know what that was. But when you were talking about voting for your dollars earlier, who gives, who, what working man gives a politician money? Well, I mean, if you look at um, all of the donations and microtransactions, Donald Trump actually um, leads everybody in um, uh, in micro donations. I don't even know what micro. Donations so I give mean. five dollars to somebody, right? Bucks? No, no, no. A little micro donation, like you're buying a cup of coffee instead of, or instead of sending it over to Cindy Lauper or um, or anybody else to to go feed the the children over in in Bangladesh or wherever else that that you have. Instead of sending that five dollars a month to them, you send the five dollars a month to Donald Trump. He's the one that makes, Green, uh, of all of them, he's of all of the politicians that are out right now, he's the one that makes the most off of those micro donations. That's funny. He, he's got an attraction to money. It's called the law of attraction, and he's got it. Oh, of course. And, and, and people are giving it to him at $5 a pop. Like you said, what working man would turn around and start donating the hard-earned money that they have to buy, I don't know, the $400 sneakers? Right. Well, here, I want you to maybe explain to me, because you have some good answers. Yeah. How do you really vote for, how do you vote with your dollars? Is it the corporation? You mean yeah. to tell me the more money that is contributed, that's who's going to win the campaign? That is at the least campaign? the way that they're, that's at least the way that they're posturing for this. So, um, so what happened okay. is... Um, back in, I think it was, I'd have to look, at, look up the actual time, but I think it was in the 80s or so where they essentially said that corporations were people. Um, I believe that was a, um, a, a Reagan um, signed into that. It was the Supreme Court ultimately that decided that. The same thing with Citizens United. But it's what, one of the, yeah, one of the triple, trickle downs. Exactly. With trickle down and all of the other things that are happening. So what happened was now me as a corporation... Or, or if I own a corporation, my corporation now has the same rights as you, Dennis. They have the exact same rights. Corporations have the freedom of speech. Right. Corporations have uh, all of it. Well, then they right. turned around after they said a corporation was a person. The Supreme Court then decided that any person can donate. A there is no limit to the donations. So now my corporation that is a person is a, I mean, they don't have a social security number. They've got a tax ID, but that essentially that corporation, Apple, um, any, anybody who's, who's out there, Google, all of these giant tech, small tech, um, mom and pop shops, whatever it is, if you are a corporation, you can donate unlimited amounts of money to your candidate. So now if I have a corporation and it makes a bunch, a bunch of money, so let's say BlackRock or anybody like that um, who owns, I think, like $10 trillion in assets, they can turn Everybody around like and that. donate all the money that they want to. I have a corporation number. Yep. And I have a Social Security number. Mm -hmm. So you can but donate as Dennis money. the person – and you can donate as your corporation. So, and there's an unlimited amount of money that you can do. You can even donate to a candidate who has already won. If that person has already well, won their okay, candidacy, I can still go wait. back and donate to that campaign they just won. All right. 
So wait a second. They're allowing you to donate to the candidate after he already won. Yes, but sir. I thought the candidate can't use that money except for political purposes. Exactly. Campaign. So what they're doing is, and, and I, I believe uh, the the one place that I did see it happen was, was Ted Cruz. So Ted Cruz is still getting paid for the campaign he already won. They are essentially reverse paying for that stuff. It's, he's like, oh, well, I'll put some of my own money in there, and then the corporation will just pay me back. So this is what I mean about getting the money out of politics. Now, you know it used to did? be back in the day you, you shake hands and kiss babies, right, Dennis? That's what they used to do. Because you wanted to win votes. You didn't want to win money. So essentially what they're doing now is so the more money that a person has as a candidate, what's happening is that you can buy more advertisements. You can do more rallies. Yeah, I mean, look at it, street uh, 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 yard signs and T-shirts, right? If I've got all of this money, I can run a much larger campaign. And then if you look at the uh, corruption that we've got in politics, they're using this campaign money for uh, clothing, travel, out to eat. They're using that uh, corporate, they're using that donation money to enrich I'll themselves. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. You just made Cleveland Dennis a legitimate political talk <laughs> voice on the radio. Well, thank and you, I Dennis. Don't Jack uh, nothing, yeah. And I don't know Jack nothing about this stuff. It's that I'm asking questions and I know my history. Yep. Let's take the word history and make it H-I-S story, his story. Now, Yeah. one last thing. Go ahead. You had this other public service announcement right after the FDA jobber uh -huh. about, about the guy that lost his job because he took opioids. Yeah. And then it said, if I remember correctly... And I listened when we were on the break that, oh, he only knows his drug dealer. Well, how do you deal with the drug dealer if you don't have a job and you don't have any money? It's true. Well, a lot of people lose their uh, uh, lose their oh, livelihood to addiction, um, especially opioids and heroin um, being one of the larger yeah, things. If you have to go through a job every day. I worked every day of my life since mm -hmm. I was about, I don't know, since I was married. Mm-hmm. 1975, <clears throat> long time ago, but I hear this stuff. It stimulates the mind thinking, and you guys are doing that too, and I listen to your show. Mm -hmm. Still looking to figure out how all the dollars that get donated turn into votes. Yeah. I don't get it. Well, so all the dollars that get donated are put into ad campaigns. So you turn around and you buy more ad. If I can buy more advertisements than you, Dennis, more people okay. are going to uh, uh, to be exposed okay. to my message. Watch. So you tell me, mm -hmm. you're telling me that if I watch TV, all of a sudden I'm going to be swung one way or the other because of the advertising? Well, of course. That's what advertising's <laughs> there for. Now, you're obviously a strong-willed right. individual. You're obviously oh, a strong-willed individual, dig, but how often deep, do you... Deep. I like it. How like often it. do you uh, uh, do you buy from McDonald's? Do you shop from Amazon? When you turn around and you think of, hey, I want a hamburger, what's the first thing that comes into your head? Is it a, is it yeah, a retail I'm not, chain? I'm not ordering one like the other guy said. Mm-hmm. That he got a burger and it was delivered by Uber. <laughs> oh yeah, seven bucks. That's Who what I mean. That? That's nuts. That, it is nuts. But um, nuts. this I, is the issue. I, I, is, I eat home cooking mostly. Um, I go, listen, I look at um, to McDonald's. Look at billboards. Um, look at well. Here's the thing. You know what um, Jimmy Dean sausages are, right? I like Jimmy Dean. Yeah. So Jimmy Dean sausages. That's what I mean is is um, if you didn't if I didn't advertise Jimmy Dean sausage to you, you wouldn't know all of the different flavors or anything else that's happening or the potato chips. My, da my dad, my dad taught me all the different flavors back in the 60s. <laughs> there you so, are. Yeah. 
but I don't that's, need no advertising. But that's what I mean. For for advertisement, that's essentially what it is. It's it's a it's a message. It's it's I mean, I know you just got into the political scene, Dennis, and I don't want to give you too much homework, but look yeah, up a name, uh, Noam Chomsky, and he'll explain a lot of how the advertisement moves and how it's affected in uh, media and how it sways decisions. Um, the biggest example for that would be the uh, the Gulf War, the first one. Um, the people that were uh, promoting the Gulf War were the ones that owned the uh, ammunition that they were using in the Gulf War. So there's a lot of that where media kind of leans one way or the other. But I'm I'm glad that you're part of the political side because you brought up history, Dennis. And history is just yesterday's political news. I mean, that's that's really what it is. We're living in history right now. Who voted for who? What leader was put into the position? And that's us. So when we vote for somebody, we have to think about the six generations down the line that are going to judge us for voting uh, for people like that. Well, you mentioned the Gulf War. I'm going to tell you something about the history. Yeah. I made good I made good money during the Gulf War because I shipped all the stuff that came out of this country that was needed over there and they paid the price because mm -hmm. it was not cheap. No, scarcity, exactly. You've got um we've got supply and demand, Dennis. Like I said, you're a smart cookie. It's not, wait, it's more than supply and demand. Mm -hmm. It's the government. They're demanding it, and we supplied it. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's it, too. If the government's going to uh, open their checkbook, I'm sure most people will uh, will supply whatever they need to. Thanks for calling in, Dennis. I really appreciate wait. it. One, one more comment. Yeah. Department of Defense, let me tell you how they work. Okay. They got intermediaries. Mm -hmm. The intermedia intermediaries want to tell us, well, we don't. We can't pay you because the Department of Defense is not going to pay us until you deliver. I go. Well, it don't work like that. So we made them pay up front. It worked, go. and you did say the right thing a moment ago, and that's all I got. Thank you. You're you're welcome, Dennis. Thanks for listening, man. Oh yeah. Great call. Thanks, Dennis. There it is. Another Ohio Dennis right there. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, Ben, and then when we get back, we're going to talk about. In Washington, the state, uh, there is now a stripper's bill of rights. What? This is crazy. We got an article from the Washington Examiner, and we also got uh, our good buddies at the AP also going to run that down as well. Here's some commercials that Dennis was talking about. Come and listen to them. They're pretty neat. WRMN 1410, the voice of the valley, the talk of the town, and the home of radio shopping. We'll be right back. WRMN has been serving Elgin and the Fox Valley for 75 years, featuring a combination of local news, information, and entertainment in the mornings, followed by the Radio Shopping Show for five hours each weekday. The first shift with Marky B starts your morning at 6 a.m., and it's always fun when Larry Jones is a part of the show. Maybe we need to get a radio intern in to help. Maybe so. Somebody that you won't have to pay and you can treat them tough. I can There's, haze them. Can't haze. You'll get fired. <laughs> Remember that guy from Northwestern? Yeah. Gone. Did he really do it? You don't have to really do it. If somebody says you did yeah good enough maybe i'm gonna accuse you of hazing me i don't have to prove it <laughs> and then there'll be a lot of people that Woodward come out of the way like, i also i, hazed I remember when mark hazed me <laughs> i've been hazed mark hazed me back in 2012 2012 i remember in memphis one time he was really mean to me <laughs> <laughs> it's first shift fun and information in the morning combined with the radio shopping show to save you money and you get it right here on WRMN AM 1410 WRMN 1410 radio on Facebook and WRMN 1410.com 
For exceptional home-cooked meals, visit the longest family-owned restaurant in Elgin. Paul's Family Restaurant at Lawrence and McLean takes pride in their fresh daily specials like steaks, fish, pasta, soups, and more. Paul's fresh buttermilk pancakes and breakfast skillets are phenomenal. As you walk in, you can't help but notice owner Elaine's wonderful eye for detail. The toughest decision you'll have to make is what size leftover box to take home. Call 847-695-8687. How many times have you heard about or driven past the Volo Auto Museum and still haven't checked it out? They have over 200,000 square feet of heated showrooms filled with countless collections of the most amazing mechanical marvels in the world. From incredible collector cars, movie cars, trains, boats, and planes, to a Disney gallery, dinosaurs, vintage arcades, kiddie rides, and a medieval torture exhibit, plus the Titanic Museum. They're open every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Visit volofun.com. Everyone has a community to lean on, a neighborhood, school, kids' teams, where you worship, work, work out, or any other place or group where you choose to belong. Communities can provide support when you need it, and even when you don't know you do. Like when it comes to preventing underage drinking and other substance use. You've talked with your kids and shared clear expectations, but you're not with them every minute. Your community members, friends and relatives, teachers and coaches, faith leaders, and other important adults in your kids' lives can be your eyes, ears, and a supportive influence when you're not around, reinforcing your messages with your kids and alerting you to warning signs of underage drinking or other substance use. So talk with your kids about these issues and involve the members of your community to help keep your kids safe, because when you talk, they hear you. Clocking out? Drive home with the Drive Time Deal with Matt McNeil on WRMN 1410 AM every weekday from 3 to 6 p.m. I bring you the hottest deals in town, the most intriguing stories, and the tracks that take the edge off rush hour. Tune in on 1410 AM. Catch us on YouTube Live at WRMN Radio or stream through our app. I've got the wheel to steer your evening right. WRMN 1410 AM, your home of radio shopping and the soundtrack to your commute. Rise and shine, Fox Valley listeners. It's time to kickstart your day with First Shift with Marky B on WRMN 1410 AM. From 6 to 9 a.m., join the chatter that gets you clued in with the latest buzz around town. Don't just sip on your coffee. Let Marky B brew your morning with the perfect mix of news, views, and moves. Dial us in or live stream at WRMN1410.com and make your mornings a whole lot brighter. WRMN 1410 AM. We are the voice of the valley, and we're here to talk. Welcome back to Out to Lunch with WRMN, WRMN1410.com to find all of the great deals. The voice of the valley, the talk of the town, and the home of radio shopping. Those are the great deals I'm talking about. Go and find some of them at WRMN1410.com. Sale, sale, sale going on right now. 25% off an additional 25% off of the, everything it's already marked down we've got lots and lots of different things that are already sitting at 50 percent off you can knock off another 25 percent from there so we've just got a few more minutes we've been teasing this the entire show ben can you talk a little bit about washington and how washington now has a new strippers bill of rights I can talk a little bit about Washington and how Washington has a new stripper's bill of rights. <laughs> so uh, here's the story. Um, uh, from abcnews.go, the stripper's bill of rights uh, bill has been signed into law in Washington state. A legislation in Washington state known as the stripper's bill of rights, which advocates uh, say which advocates say includes the most comprehensive statewide product protections in the nation was signed into law Monday. Governor Jay Inslee signed the measure which creates safer working conditions for people in the adult entertainment industry and makes it possible for the clubs to sell alcohol. Um, so, yeah, basically, it's a um, uh, a measure taken uh, in reading this article. Again, you can go to abcnews.go.com. Check that out. The uh, title of the 
article being strippers bill of rights bill signed into law in washington state and the uh what the article goes on to explain is how when you um uh, regulate and make resources available for um, people uh, who are in the sex industry, uh, sex work, uh, be that strippers um, or, um, uh, yeah, in this case, it is uh, strip clubs. Um, y- you have to make sure that uh, uh, there's uh, programs for uh, people who maybe uh, are in abusive situations, uh, drug type of scenarios that happens mm-hmm. in these places, um, uh, talking about uh, sexual uh, transmitted diseases, uh, basically keeping an eye on that stuff. And on top of that, making sure that uh, uh, these people who have a right to have a business and uh, in the market uh, are not being um, uh, targeted or construed in ways that makes it impossible for them to make money. Like in a lot of places, um, they'll uh, make it, you know they'll put restrictions on places just to to make it either less um uh popular or attractive and you know the, uh, i don't have to tell you that there's two school of thoughts on on this uh kind of issue um where uh one uh that you're you're gonna have um strip clubs uh or that kind of uh, activity um and that's gonna uh, be bad for your community a lot of people think that um and so then uh, they'll they'll kind of go towards just shuttering the doors of that stuff. And then you know you really just create that you create what the people who are in the strip club are just like chilling on the streets now, I guess. <laughs> looking for, uh, strip well, they're club trying to um, but, they're um, trying to make it so that it's it's just like any other worker. They've got they've got safety things that are in there. They've got. Um, all of the sexual harassment and information that's there. Also, they're capping the fees that the dancers have to pay back to everything. Ben, thank you for uh, being here with me for the show. Really appreciate you you coming along. Absolutely, man. Thanks for letting me uh, spin off on tangents and uh, add my two cents <laughs> into things. I uh, really appreciate the, the asking me back down on the show. There it is. WRMN, you're right. Out to lunch with everything here. Coming up later, Drive Time Deal with Matt McNeil starting at 3. We're out of time here. You're going to have to listen to Out to Lunch tomorrow because it's no longer lunchtime. Come on now. Get out there and maybe get your uh, your liner or whatever else you got going on. Finish the rest of your day. Get home to those families, and we will see you tomorrow. This is McGruff the Crime Dog, and I need you to help me take a bite out of crime. Counterfeit products are popping up everywhere. Thanks, buddy. Fake sneakers. 